My name is Katrin Wigfall, and I'm a policy fellow at Center of the American Experiment, which is a public policy organization funded by more than 8,000 individual Minnesotans. I am also a former public school teacher, and the first class of students that I taught uh, graduated this past spring, so it was uh, very exciting to see them walk across that stage. I thank you for the opportunity this morning to express uh, my concerns on and opposition to the proposed changes to R4615 within the standards of effective practice. In my coursework to obtain my teaching license, I had to incorporate pedagogical theories and practices uh, to help shape and inform my demonstration of what effective teaching looks like. This was so important to not only help me develop as a teacher, but to also help me prepare to serve each of my individual students. Today, I'm going to address the need for and reasonableness of the proposed rules. So yes, setting pedagogical standards and subject matter standards are necessary in teacher preparation programs. However, the content changes and additions that Pelsby is proposing to what teachers must demonstrate through the standards of effective practice are unfortunately political and ideological in nature, not academic. The language used would require teachers to demonstrate a specific worldview in order to be licensed that really leaves no room for a shared academic culture of excellence or one in which students are viewed and treated as the unique and individual learners that they are. The proposed framing of the standards of effective practice instead insists that teachers prioritize group identities with their students, encouraging very concerning generalizations of cultures and ethnic groups. This risks students viewing themselves and their peers through a narrow and limiting perspective. The proposed language also makes concerning and insulting generalizations about our teachers, that they are to consider themselves as biased with intersecting oppressive identities, and that they need to be trained on how to treat others of different demographics with respect and with dignity, that they need to be trained on how to celebrate student diversity. Additionally, the verbiage changes to the standards of effective practice include words without sufficient corresponding definitions, such as power, privilege, oppressive systems, anti-racist, implicit bias, educational equity. These words have varied definitions depending on the individual using those words, and they also have varied ways of being put into practice. They are also foundationally adversarial. Uh, using words with very definitions, words with loose definitions, is not how good state statutes should be written. Finally, setting pedagogical standards will not be effective if the language is not clear, measurable, and objective. Just as Minnesota state statute requires K-12 academic standards to be such, so should the many instances uh, of the standards that the teachers have to demonstrate within their preparation programs include that language. Uh, for example, there are many ways, many uh, instances in these standards and the substandards where the word understands is used. An American experiment believes that this is this word understands is not measurable and will introduce subjectivity into deciding whether or not a teacher has adequately and completely demonstrated such standards. In conclusion, American Experiment does not support the finalization of the proposed changes to the standards of effective practice within Minnesota's licensing and academic standards, as they are currently written in a way that makes assumptions about educators and students that will not help us address the very real and persistent shortcomings within our state's education system, and in fact risks exacerbating the very problems Pelsby states it intends to address. We can and should look to what other states are doing to help their students achieve. Uh, I think of Mississippi, where Mississippi Black and Hispanic students outperform Minnesota's Black and Hispanic students, according to the nation's report card. American Experiment strongly encourages Pelsby to take additional time to rewrite the current draft so that its scope focuses on helping teachers skillfully provide each student with a high quality education that builds on their individual strengths and centers students and teachers alike around our shared humanity. The proposed changes prioritize political jargon and divisive concepts and will not have a positive impact on how students view themselves, their teachers and society. Thank you again for the opportunity to comment.